So now we're gonna jump into um, positioning audio and like where also to, how to like handle the audio equipment in interviews and also where to position it. So first I'm gonna take you through um, how to clip the lavalier mic. Um, and this is again like the receiver. So I always wanna clip it, I always wanna clip, clip it like pretty much under the chin and also in the angle of which they're speaking. Um, so you like low enough so it's not intrusive um, but also where they'll still pick up good audio. And then also with, then also like they can usually like clip the receiver to like their belts or put it in their pocket. And even though I'm not showing it now, like I would easily like know how people like thread this through their search so it's like remains pretty much invisible. And then also for positioning, like easily a uh, really standard way of, of how to compose um, interview shots is like to make sure that the, that the interviewer and the interviewee are like standing in a V so that you can like so that you can still see that they're talking to each other, but also can easily face the camera. So you can get it's like a really good angle where you can show like you know both aspects of it. So now we're just going to go through um, how to like you know position for a handheld microphone. Also, another key important for this one is to make sure that it's on, because <laughs> I've had interviews where people forgot to turn on their audio equipment, and yeah, it blows. So be responsible. Make sure it's on. Um, so for these, I want to make sure that they're holding it and that they're holding it, well, like about here where it's like can still, um, it's like low enough so it's like not cutting out so that you can still see their head and like the microphone isn't blocking it, but also low enough so it can, but also close enough so it can still pick up good audio. And like audio also like they travel in like triangles, so like kind of angle them at like 45 degree angles from like where the sound is coming from. Then also another key importance is also to make sure that people are holding it um, with their less intrusive hand. So that when you're holding a microphone, you, you're not like holding it in front of like people's faces, but per se maybe holding it with this one where it could be a better angle so you're not like obscuring a person's face. And look at that beautiful, beautiful face. All right, cool. And then so lastly, we're gonna just like show you like positioning for a um, shotgun on a boom. So you'll see this a lot in really low budget shows where you can see like the, the shotgun mic in the frame. <laughs> like, um, so, the, so there's usually a person holding it off camera um, and usually they're holding the, they're positioning it at like, again, like an angle where it can still pick up the person's, um, it can still like pick up good audio from a person and it's used like, you know, angled it a little so it can get like the best quality. Um, Again, it's like a person's like outside the frame, and also you do not want it to lower on into the frame that you'll see a lot in bad, in bad black exploitation films, a lot.